Hi guys, welcome to Pagapai Vichan. Hope you guys watched our certain videos on supply chain, project management, and Excel tip centrics. Here, this is one more video on Excel tip centrics. So we will talk about index function, match function, left lookup, drop down, multiple criteria lookup in this video. So don't skip this video. Watch the complete video to understand on all these five functions in Excel. Now, we will move on to Excel. At the end of this video, you can make a similar kind of result. You can see I have created a drop down by changing the values in drop down automatically the quantity and unit price comes up. You can see here I have used index and match function and then I have used a drop down. Then again, here there are two criteria. One is the order ID and product. If you are using a VLOOKUP, either you can match or do a lookup with a product or a order ID. If there is more than one criteria, you can't do a lookup with VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP or XLOOKUP. So here in this video, we will show you how to make a similar kind of result. So now first we will try to understand what is the index function. Index function is a kind of a lookup which will give you the result. If you are talking, if you are using index, and selecting a table, if I want to know what is the value in row five and column four. I have selected the table row five and column four, 53 is the value. Column four is D, row five, you can see it is 53. So index function is actually gives the value in the cell, whatever the row and column combination you are selecting, it will fetch the value in a particular cell. Now, if we talk about match function, match function gives you whatever the lookup value you are selecting, the position it will reflect. I'm selecting, for example, this product name. I am it has to be a single array. You can't select a table in case of a match function. Exact match. See, the position it shows is nine. Let us check. Ninth position is North Wind Traders chocolate biscuit mix. So now you have got some idea about index and match function. Now let us see how to do a left lookup. Here, what we will do, we will do a combination of index and match function together. We will nest the match function inside index function. First, I am selecting the index. Then I am selecting the entire table. Here I require a row number. Be aware that match function will give us the position. So the row, whatever I am looking for, let us say I am looking for the product price. Lookup value I have selected. Where is the product column? Here it is the product. Now comma zero. So I have completed the row number requirement. Now I am going to column, use the match function again. Here in this case, I can say I'm looking for unit price. Then here you have to select the horizontal array. 
So here you can see the unit price is available here. I have selected this is the lookup value because I am looking for the unit price, comma, zero, close the parenthesis. I'm getting the same value, 9.2. Just you can see, first what I have selected within the index function, I have selected the entire table from where the data has to be fetched. Then I'm working on the row number using match function. First, I have selected the lookup value. Then I have selected the array where the lookup value is available. Then comma zero is the match type, which I am looking for exact match. So I am completed the row number requirement. Then I am going to the column number. I'm using the match again. Here I'm looking for the unit price. So I am I have mentioned the lookup value unit price. I have connected that. And then I have selected the lookup array because the row number one is having the unit price requirement. So I have selected that array, then comma zero, it is giving me the output. So now we have seen about index match, and then this is left lookup. You can see basically the lookup value, whatever the product which is available as a second column in the table. It is not the first column. So in a VLOOKUP, you would require this product column has to be in the first column in the table. But in case of index match combination, you would not require this condition. Now I will show you how to make this drop down and then the multiple criteria lookup. For that, what I have did is I have just copy pasted this table again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just copy pasting here to create the drop down. So I'm going to create the drop down here. But if you see, first drop down which is required is the order ID. If I'm directly creating a drop down with this column, I will get a output like 30 comes two times, 31 comes three times, 32 comes two times. In that way, the drop down will fetch all the values in this column. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm selecting this column, I'm pasting it separately. So here you will know one more thing how to eliminate duplicates. Go to data. There is an option to remove duplicate. Click that. Click OK. Then immediately duplicates are removed. You can see 30, 31, 32, 33. So you will get only the unique values. So now this is the cell where I am looking for the drop down to be available. In data itself, go to data validation, click data validation. In settings, select list and select the source and select this values, click OK. Now you can see the drop down has come you can see all the values are available, 74, whatever you want, it is available. Now, you can repeat the same thing for product also, select the product, copy paste here, and then remove the duplicate in that column. So Excel has removed all the duplicates. Now use data validation to create the list after selecting this source. So now you can see drop down is also created. Now we will see about multiple lookup. So these two are the lookup condition. In order number 39, whether this product is available or not, finding out that is first condition. If it is available, then what I'm going to do is reflect the 
quantity what it was purchased and what is the unit price basically for that what i am going to use is index function so here i have to reflect the quantity to select only the quantity array then in column here what i am going to do is use the match function one comma here the first condition is the id select that lookup put is equal to and select the array where the lookup value is available then close the bracket use the asterisk sign then go to next condition which is the product name select that is equal to and select this array where the product is available once you complete then exact match and close this here it is showing not available because the order id is not having that value but once you select the right order id and product combination here you can see the order id this product combination is available in row number 4 you have got the quantity so how to eliminate the error use if error formula if there is an error then mention not available if error whatever the value here i am using that index with match nested formula the multiple criteria if it is not available then mention not available within double quotes mention not available then for example if i am selecting some other well you can see not available is the quantity which is coming so in case of 31 this value is available so now simply if i am looking for the unit price what is the table instead of c it has to be d just copy this formula within just change this array in index because i am looking for unit price so i have selected the unit price array just click that so now by changing it the drop down any option automatically value gets changed so now just make sure that you are just hiding this values you can use white color and then for font white color for font and then you use no shared no border so by seeing it no no one can able to identify just make some aesthetic look changes wrap text and everything see you can able to create output this video hope you have understood what is index function what is a match function left lookup then uh, drop down then how to remove duplicates then multiple criteria lookup so hope you enjoyed watching this video please please like and subscribe our channel and do share with your friends so that they will also get to know this tricks thanks for watching bye bye